Well, as you probably already know, it is Labor Day weekend and millions of people are expected to travel. A popular destination in Oregon for the holiday weekend is along the coast. Fox 12's Julia Lopez joins us now live from North Plains near Highway 26. Julia, what are you seeing traffic wise? I know that's going to be a popular stretch this weekend. It definitely will, and that's what we've been seeing uh, throughout the day. Traffic is kind of petering out now. Many people got an earlier start to the day. This is as gas prices here in Oregon are at record lows. The travelers are telling me that they're not feeling that relief. If you're headed to the coast like Tillamook or anywhere down there, if you're not on the road now, you'll be stuck in traffic for at least few hours. Oregonians are gassing up and heading out this Labor Day weekend, many taking advantage of the sunshine at the coast. I mean, you can't ask for more beautiful weather in Oregon right now. Uh, we just came over from Idaho over to Tillamook, Oregon to visit the coast, stayed up in the Tillamook National Forest and did some wheeling and now we're heading home. Funderburg is glad he took his four-wheeling trip early. He says the one-way road into Tillamook was lined with campers stuck in traffic as he cruised out. The campground we were in was completely empty all week, and we woke up this morning and it was half full already. Some travelers are changing plans to avoid crowds on the roads and beaches. We're headed closer to Seattle area. Um, I don't know exactly where yet. We're kind of being spontaneous. Yeah, we're trying to see about Cannon Beach, but it looks like it's pretty, pretty overcrowded right now so <laughs> you know and there's too many people out on the road people don't pay attention and gas is expensive gas prices of course are not great while AAA reports gas in Oregon is at its lowest since February averaging at 380 a gallon some say it's better than the worst case scenario but um, it's less than it was for sure and that's that's been nice because I was expecting like astronomical prices so yeah, it's we did nice. this road, we did a road trip like this several years ago and we paid it was around six dollars in Seattle. Others en route to the coast say they don't notice a difference at all. Oh well, gas prices is what it is, you know. I mean I, I wish it would come down. I'm hoping that it'd come down. You know, it's like eighty bucks to fill up. Yeah, I mean you feel it, but what can you do? The Washington Department of Transportation is sharing some travel tips. They say have a backup destination in mind in case your park gets full. Plan your rest stop breaks ahead of time. And above all, be prepared for delays no matter where you're headed. Live from North Plains, Julia Lopez, Fox 12, Oregon.